Um, Madam Secretary, we deal with investor protection in this committee. The SEC is looking at swing pricing rules dealing with mutual funds that will undermine investor protection. And the word is out that it is the BFSOC, yourself and the Fed, that somehow believe and are pushing the SEC to have these regulations to prevent a precipitous sell-off in U.S. securities should there be a crisis. I just want to ask, I'm not going to ask you a question at this point, but, but I'd hope you'd re-examine your position there because telling the American people there's a crisis, we don't want you to sell your stocks, we're going to impose a penalty on you for selling your mutual funds is one way to get them running toward the exit. So it's bad investor protection, it's bad systemic regulation. Uh, I do hope that you'll leave it to the SEC what they do on swing pricing. Your testimony talked about the IMF. Uh, Pakistan is engaged in uh, negotiations right now. This is a unique opportunity to help the people of Pakistan, but also a unique opportunity to uh, focus on human rights, democracy, and timely elections in Pakistan. And I hope that the U.S. voice is being used there to, uh, uh, to push Pakistan toward democracy and human rights. Um, Iran has special drawing rights at the IMF, and uh, I wonder how we as a Congress can reauthorize IMF and leave that untouched. Uh, IMF may ultimately have to decide, do they want American participation or do they want Iran to have uh, special drawing rights? In uh, March of 2023 uh, 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 this year, this Secretary Blinken identified that the Amhara Force Regional Forces in northern Ethiopia were engaged in ethnic cleansing and war crimes. The Human Rights Watch has identified two particular individuals that are responsible uh, for those uh, war crimes and I hope that the Treasury would look at sanctioning those two individuals. Uh, believe it or not, I have a question. Um, we have a capital gains allowance that costs us tens of billions of dollars that is justified as encouraging people to make investment that helps an economy grow. And maybe that makes sense unless the economy you're growing is China. Can you think of a reason why we use the tax system to subsidize U.S. investment in Chinese companies. Sorry, in what way do we? Well, if subsidize? you buy the, if if you work hard and earn money, you pay the full ordinary income tax rate. But if instead you invest in Huawei, and the price goes up, and you make the same amount of money, you pay a much lower rate. And if you die while holding that, you get a step up in basis, and you pay no tax at all. So the full panoply of investment incentives built into our tax code is there for China. Is there a reason why we're incentivizing investments in Chinese stocks? Well, we have policies about how we tax capital gains on assets and Can you think of why gains. we provide these subsidies, yes. uh, apply these we to do, Chinese stocks, we, we do, we except do. that we got lazy and we wrote them up for all stocks and we forgot China? We, um, this is the policy that we have for all assets. I've, I look forward to Chinese working assets. with you to come up with a policy that makes some foreign policy sense. We, um, if, uh, finally, the, the chair um, talked about crypto and said we need a regulatory scheme. I want to say we have a regulatory scheme. We have the securities laws. Thank God Gensler is enforcing them. Uh, but we also have recently adopted tax laws dealing with crypto. The uh, Inflation Reduction Act said you've got to report on Form 1099. Uh, in December of uh, last year, Treasury announced that crypto broke brokers, however, wouldn't have to report um, until final regulations were issued. These final regulations have been um, approved by the OMB, but remain un, uh, uh, unissued. Uh, Mr. Lynch and I sent you a letter um, just recently urging you uh, the SEC has proved they're not afraid of the crypto bros. I know you're not afraid of the crypto bros. I hope the IRS is not afraid of them. When are we going to see these regulations so that if you make a profit on selling your crypto, you at least have to pay taxes on it? We will get back to you on that shortly. Thank you.